As far as surf destinations go, this is one of a kind. Raglan, New Zealand is renowned for its natural beauty and most importantly, its waves. We get swells that come all the way up from the Antarctic. Kerry Black has been studying them for years with an eye to sharing Raglan with the world. While the scenery can't be duplicated, the waves, he says, are another story. The laws of physics are the same. We sculpt the seabed. What we do is we go out and we put a special shape on the seabed. Black is equal parts surfer and scientist. And this is his laboratory. The former university professor is in the business of designing artificial reefs. For a price tag of anywhere from $600,000 to several million, he'll create surf rakes in places they've never been before. There's a lot of surfers now. Quality of the surfers have got better, and so we need to have better surf rakes. With four different surf rakes to choose from, this spot is considered among the best places in the world to surf. So it might seem difficult, if not impossible, to recreate these conditions artificially. The secret lies beneath the waves. A surf break is created when the ocean interacts with the seabed. Each of the artificial reefs begins as a computer model. Then his team builds a prototype out of sandbags. We've tested for a whole range of different wave heights, which come off the wave generator here. We then will vary the tide level. We will move the reef around. Small waves are rolled over top of them and analyzed by Black's team, which includes many of his former grad students. When I started my PhD, this kind of work uh, wasn't there. We, we created an industry in that sense. The Mount Reef is one of two under construction in New Zealand, along with new projects in the works for South Africa and England. Now, a new frontier is on the horizon, stadium surfing. Black's Versa Reef will debut later this year at a surf park in landlocked Orlando, Florida. Fully adjustable, computer controlled, no ocean required. With four to eight foot waves, it's no ordinary wave pool, rather a chance to grow the sport. The servers in the pool are gonna be able to get repetition, identical waves go there whenever they want. I can see surfing becoming an Olympic sport if, if that's the way it wants to go. Bringing these world-class waves to a much wider audience. James McDonald, CNN, Raglan, New Zealand.